I am buying a ticket, so I'm in. I could win myself a $20 egghead. And, and when someone bugs you and says, how much did you pay for that? You can say 20 bucks. Damn right. Well, you're charging too much. How much did you pay for that? <laughs> 20 bucks. Read and weep. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, what are you doing down here? Hey! Yo! I'm trying to get my six million dollars worth. <laughs> you know what I just remembered? Um, you're the first person, and this is the first time playing these uh, newly rebuilt flippers. How are they feeling? So far, so good. Okay. They're not uh, slipping? No, I don't see any. They're not out of line or anything. Alright. Yeah, it took me a bit to line them up properly, but yeah. These are the very first flips of the newly very, rebuilt flippers. Very first flips. Look at yep. that. Double bonus. Yep, 2x now. Get it up there, you get your 3x. Get it up there again, you get your 5x. I like the orange. You got your, uh, yeah. I like the orange flipper rubbers too. They're pretty cute. Um, so, on a side note, you are basically, you donated an there egghead pinball machine. I did. The, the, the bookstore needed a new furnace and it cost $4,000 and they sell used books. So you can kind of do the math. So I donated an egghead pinball machine that we're going to raffle at $20 a ticket. And if we sold 100 tickets, that'd be great. It would be the most anyone got for an egghead. <laughs> I know, right? Two grand for an egghead. <laughs> with, with a rough cap. What year is that? I think it's like 61. Okay. It's, <clears throat> I, I've played it a lot lately. Why, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's like got eight pop uppers or something. Nine, 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 and so you can't really, you know, have a lot of say in what happens, right? But you get a lot of pop action if nothing else. If nothing else. <laughs> well, I am buying a ticket, so I'm in. I could win myself a twenty dollar egghead. And, and when someone bugs you and says, "How much did you pay for that?" You can say twenty bucks. Damn right. Well, you're charging too much. How much did you pay for that? <laughs> twenty bucks. Read and weep. So, if you're local, actually, and if you want to get in on the Egghead Pinball Machine auction, how many tickets are left? Well, I sold, it, hasn't, it hasn't even been officially set up, so I sold two. Two. All right. I'm one of them. Nice. I'm number one or number two. It's, it's going to be a website or whatever kind of site where you can go online and buy a ticket. With, it's Brown and Dixon Books. Brown and Dixon Books. Is that in, that's in London, they're Ontario. London. Yeah, they're, they're tenants of mine. Yep. And... Um, so you're just gonna enter me in. I'm gonna give yes, you 20 bucks, and you'll right. do them. You'll do it for me. Okay. Yep, wonderful. You will auto I had some guy call me, and I, he messaged me, and he sort of just harassed me. It was like a backwards form of, of price policing. <laughs> and he's like, "Tell me if you get anything more than $500 for that oh, game, yeah, because right. I, I guess he saw one for sale for $500." Right. And I'm like, "Is this just some sort of backwards price policing? That's so 2019." Yeah. And then I said, "You know, not only am I not a greedy flipper, I'm, give I'm giving this game away." Yeah. So I've got. From from greedy flipper to philanthropist. Yeah, I know, right? And the guy bought a ticket. Oh, he did. Oh, oh <laughs> of course that, he did. Isn't that, isn't that great? Twenty dollars is less than five hundred dollars. He he could have his dream pin yeah. for twenty bucks. Uh, is it his dream pin? Everybody's dream. It's pin everybody's is dream there's woman, pin. There's a woman smoking on the back glass. Yeah. Okay. You uh, play another ball here. I'm gonna pull up this egghead on the internet pinball database. What do you know about this machine? What did you think well, about the art? There's a guy that his his ja on the back of his coat it says genius, but it's spelt wrong. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, and that's this, cute. And, and this woman, that's you cute. can't really see it by the resolution. She's smoking. Uh, I always think that's pretty cool. Whenever you have somebody smoking on the back of a pin, uh, pinball machine, right? And this is this robot who's kind of controlling the game, you know, through mm -hmm. this guy. And the four of them are playing tic tac toe, and somebody's a winner with their. Uh, this with is their so own. weird. Okay, it's, now let's see like what the play field looks like for fun. There right, we so go. There's nine pop bumpers. Oh yeah. And you have to first hit the X here or the O there or the X and O up there, and that activates you know your ability to get an X. And then when you hit a pop, it corresponds to the field here. So oh, if you yeah. hit this pop, that will light up as an X. Yeah. But then it cuts out. Then you got to hit that thing again, and then the next one you hit will light up. Oh, uh, so you got to hit one of those side targets and then a pop and then side a pop. target pop. <laughs> yeah, but the idea that if you need that one, how on earth could you ever <laughs> shoot that one, right? Yeah, right. These activated up there as well. So, so you know, try, trying oh, to accurately man. get an X or an O is a complete joke. That is definitely uh, more like gambling than anything and else. Believe it or not, today for the first time in the history of the world. I got three X's. Oh my the, god! The day I'm, I'm bringing the game into town. Oh, like that's my last, hilarious! My last chance. You uh, you f got your first tic tac toe. I got my first tic tac toe. And that's uh, like wizard mode. It's 1961. Yeah, 2100 units made. Yeah. 
and uh, could be yours or mine, hopefully, for $20. What do you know? <laughs> Manual ball lift. Yeah. The two inch flippers. Two inch flippers. It works perfectly. There's five new balls in it, new rubbers, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and also, look, Henry was here. Got me some new apron cards. Uh, what did you think of the gameplay? I mean, I was distracting you. Uh, did you even... Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. it's typical of the era. Yeah. You got drops and spinners, you can only go so wrong. Yep, exactly. <laughs> drops, pop, spinners, scoop. I mean, saucer. Those are really nice cards. I love that. The picture of Lee Majors. Yeah. So... And Henry's got some cards for me for Egghead. Yeah. Henry left, uh, was here today and dropped off me a, a few little pieces of stuff. You know, Henry's moving out of freaking town. No. Yes, he's going to Windsor, so... Windsor? Uh, he's got a new job, and now we can't really hang out with him as much as we like to anymore, because he's going to be a couple hours away. But, uh, he gave me this crap, including your egghead card. I mean, not crap, but he gave me this stuff. Stuff. Um, which you often use interchangeably with the word crap, stuff, crap, so... No, no, one, ever says I, no one ever says I took a stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I took his stuff. I, no, I, I took a stuff. I really oh. need to take a stuff. Oh, yeah, no, well, you know, okay, maybe not that interchangeable. But, yeah, so he also <laughs> dropped off an egghead apron card, and uh, we'll, I guess uh, we'll go... Do you want to go look at that now, or are we done down here? Or I, you, you haven't... Going. You got to get going? I got to deliver the egghead to uh, the auction. Oh, is that raffle, what you're doing? For the raffle. All right, well, get your tickets while they're hot. Before they're gone, Egghead could be yours.